Tomorrow would be Prince Cohio's 149th birthday. Tonight on Aloha, Aloha Authentic, Makapili has more on what some would say is the prince's greatest accomplishment. Do you drive on the roadways here in the islands? Have you ever thought that you could learn more about Hawaii and our native culture just by paying attention to our street names? Well, our weekly Aloha Authentic segment, we highlight various streets around the Pai Aina so we can dig into the given names and in turn learn more about this special place we all call Hawaii. This week, let's take attention to the man responsible for getting native Hawaiians back on their lands. In the area we know as Kihei, which lies in the moku of Kula on the island of Maui, stands a short roadway that brings our attention to the establishment of the Hawaiian homelands. We are talking about Aina Place. Born on March 26, 1871, Jonah Kuhio Kalaniano Ole Piikoi was born to high-ranking parents in a time of change and challenge. The royal prince was only 22 when the Hawaiian Kingdom and Queen Liliuo Kalani were illegally overthrown by American and European businessmen in 1893. Interestingly enough, Prince Kuhio would run for U.S. Congress as a non-voting delegate and win by a landslide. March 4, 1903, Prince Kuhio was sworn into the 58th Congress to serve a 19-year tenure as a Republican. He won 10 consecutive terms. U.S. Congress passed the Hawaiian Homes Commission Act in 1921, leading to what we know today as the Hawaiian homelands. This legislation set aside 200,000 acres of land throughout the islands to be used as homestead for Native Hawaiians. It states a 50% blood quantum requirement, even though the prince didn't want such a rule. He stated, the Hawaiian race is passing, and if conditions continue to exist as they do today, this splendid race of people my people will pass from the face of the earth. The legislation proposed seeks to place the Hawaiian back on the soil so that the vulnerable and sturdy traits of that race, peculiarly adapted to the islands, shall be preserved to prosperity. The first homestead established was in Kalamaula on Molokai, leasing the land for one dollar a year for 99 years. Today, over 10,000 families benefit from the legacy of Prince Kuhio. Did you know? Now you do. Very cool. Thank you, Kamaka. And there's more Aloha Authentic coming up tomorrow. Kamaka Pili learns about weather from a traditional Hawaiian perspective and how it complements our understanding of weather today. Aloha Authentic airs tomorrow night at 9.30 p.m. right here on KHON2.